Now I'm going to take that shape and notice that the sides are actually um, moving upward. Because of the length, you might not necessarily have to do it, but because of the length of this hair, I am going to pin it onto the padding right in the very middle of the hair. So that will help to control it as we roll it up. So I'm just going to move it down and around till I can get it into the position that I want it, which is there. So once we've got it into that position, I'll just move my model forward so you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking that elastic band that was on the hair coming down, pushing a bobby pin into it and finding that braid that's right in underneath there and pushing it into the braid. So if you attach the bobby pin into the elastic band on the end of the tail and then into the braid below, it's much better than pinning the hair. And the reason being is we need to cover this piece of padding. And if we're, pinning, if we're pinning into the hair itself, it won't be allowed to slide across the padding. So just work some bobby pins through in underneath. Work these down now through the sides. Find the base of that braid. So I'm working through, just lifting the hair on the top section away so we can start moulding it over. You've got to make sure when you put your padding in that it's not jiggling around. This girl's got to dance on it and do whatever she's, wherever she's going to. She doesn't want to have her hair feeling like the, the padding's about to fall out or it's really loose. So I can't encourage you enough to get really in there. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I am not opening my bobby pins. I find that's much easier to take an unopened bobby pin, slide it through the padding, and then slip it into the braid below. Now that's starting to feel really good. Now see what we've ended up with, we've pinned that in and we've got quite a messy look over the top. We are now going to start smoothing that over and cover the whole of this shape.